Welcome to this presentation detailing how to integrate custom components into the Activity Enterprise Suite's BPMN modeler. Nearly every workflow we create needs to integrate with third-party or custom components. Creating a custom stencil empowers process designers to easily integrate these components without having any technical knowledge on their implementation. You may be asking yourself, why should you watch this video? Do you have business analysts that design BPM processes? Would you like them to leverage custom components in their processes without knowing how to code? Are you familiar with activity but need to know how to create a custom stencil? If you've answered yes to these questions, it probably makes sense to watch this video. In this video, we will take a look at a simple process that uses a custom service task. The service task is a common way to integrate third-party or custom components into a workflow. Then, we will review how a custom service task is used in the BPMN editor. You will see that this requires knowledge of the Java class being used in the background. This is a challenging task for non-programmers. Next, we will create a custom stencil that utilizes the same Java code, but creates an abstraction layer so process designers do not need to know anything about the underlying code. Finally, we will rebuild the same simple process using the custom stencil. It is worth noting that once this stencil is created, it can be reused across many process models. So let's look at the process we'll be using. It is a very simple mathematical process to add two numbers together. I'm logged into Activity Enterprise, and I'll open this simple addition app. I'll start a new process, and I'll enter 150 to add together. I'll click Show Result and see that the answer is 150. At present, this process is using a service task to perform the mathematical operation. Let's take a look at the process model. You can see in the process model there's the initial start task. This is where the user enters the numbers to be added, a service task that performs the addition, and another user task to display the result to the user. Let's look at the service task. There are two key attributes that we need to populate in the service task. The first is the class attribute. The second is the class fields. Both of these fields require that the analyst building the design has knowledge of the underlying code. This is not a great situation for a business user. The class attribute has to be the name of the Java class, including its package. The class fields attribute refers to the fields that needs to be populated within the Java class. If you would like to continue to empower business users and analysts to build custom workflows, you cannot expect them to have this knowledge. This is why we build custom stencils. Let's go into the Kickstart app and click the Stencils tab. Then click Create Stencil. We'll enter Math for the stencil name, and we'll make sure that the BPMN editor is selected under Editor Type. There are three different types of stencils that you can create. We are going to focus on the BPMN editor for this video. Here we see all the items in the default stencil. Let's click Stencil Editor. Click Add New Group. We are going to call this Simple Math. And we can see that this group shows up on the bottom of the tree. Next, let's click Add New Item. We'll call this Addition Service Task and we'll choose the group of simple math so that it is in the appropriate place in the tree. Let's change the icon. We'll add a plus symbol. And then let's add the class name. Next, we need to configure the properties that will be displayed in the BPMN editor for this item. Down below, we see all the properties that are currently available. Click Edit. And let's remove all of the properties that we do not want. We'll click each one, one at a time, and click the X button. Now we'll add the fields that we need. Let's add the first operand field. I'll click Add New Property. The name will be displayed in the BPMN editor. So we'll name it first operand and give it a unique name for the stencil. We'll choose a type of string. There are other types here. You'll notice that expression is not here, just literal values. 
we'll scroll down and check the checkbox and enter the name of the field extension. Now this name has to match the field that is in the Java code. Let's click Save and we'll do the next property. Second operand. Again a type of string and we'll do the checkbox again. And lastly, we'll use the target process variable. This is the variable that we will put the result into. The default task class already has a return field that you can use if you like. Now, let's save our stencil. We can leave the default comment there and click Save and Close Editor. And that's it. We've created our stencil. Now let's try to use it. Let's create a new process. We'll call this process Simple Addition with Custom Stencil. The important thing we have to do now is down below under Stencil, we'll choose the Math Stencil that we just created. And then click Create New Model. You can see here in the stencil down at the bottom is the simple math group that we had created with the addition service task. So let's create our process. We'll add the add numbers form to the start task. And we will use the result form for the next task. Let's make sure that we have the assignee set appropriately. We'll choose the process initiator just for this demo. And now we get to configure our custom task. Now because we did a custom stencil for this, we don't have to know the backend code anymore. We don't have to know the class name, we don't have to know the class variable names. All of the fields that we had manually created in our stencil are now available here. The values that we're going to put in here are basically the names of the process variables that are coming from that first form. We'll call this perform addition. We'll call this one enter numbers. And lastly, we'll call this task show results. Okay, so let's validate our model and then save it. Next, we'll add this model to our custom app. and then save and publish the app. Now we can try it out. We'll click the Simple Edition app and we'll start a new process. We're going to choose the Simple Edition with Custom Stencil. I'll put in 120 and 80. We'll start the process. We'll click the Show Results task and we can see the result of 200. So let's recap on what we have learned so far. We've learned that service tasks can be used to implement custom components in a business process, but they require a very detailed knowledge on the components themselves. You have to know what the API is, you have to know what the Java classes are used in the background, and what their detailed properties are. This is not something that a regular business user can do. We've also learned we can create a stencil to help abstract that complexity from the business user. We can create custom components, add them into the workflows, but we can wrap them in a stencil so that only the necessary information is exposed to the business user or the process architect. This allows the process architect to be able to integrate custom components into their business process without having any detailed knowledge of the implementation of those components. Leveraging items from a stencil is the easiest way to integrate custom components into a business process model. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. 
please feel free to reach out to us and see how we can help you like we have helped our clients.